So here's my Veritas shooting board plane. It wasn't until I used a friend's plane to, that I realised just how useful and effective this plane can be. Just shoots through the end grain of this, of this bird's eye maple. Now these planes differ in a number of ways from the standard plane, which I've been using to shoot up till now. And firstly, the blades. So you can see it's straight on the standard plane and you've got a skewed blade here. Now that helps with a shearing cut, which helps spelch at the end of the board and it also makes it go through the work easier. The pitch of the blade, this one's at 45 degrees and this one is down at 12 and a half degrees. So obviously that's entering into the end grain at a much, much less abrasive angle, which helps. Uh, the other thing about it is this plane on its side, it's got, it's all rounded with lots of protrusions. Whereas this plane, you can see it's, there's the base sole of the plane, but it's also flat here. And this enables the plane to be effectively trapped inside the fence here. And that means it shoots in exactly the same direction. Sometimes this is, um, uh, most of the time it's advantageous, but sometimes it's quite nice to be able to freehand um, shoot. So the other thing that happens on this plane is that the, the handle tilts. So with a little adjuster there, you can swing it round to a comfortable position. But having said that, I find this position where your blade is cutting here and your handle is back here, it's not intuitive. It's not a comfortable position. So actually, I much prefer to have my hand over the top of the plane and much nearer where the blade is. It gives you a lot more feel having the pressure central in the plane. But then that's just me. This is a costly plane to buy, especially for something which is just used for a dedicated task. And of course, you still have to make a shooting board to, to go with it. So I'd like to show you my board. Now you notice probably rather than working across the bench, which most people do, I've made my board with a little cleat there in the bottom, which just simply clamps in the vise. It's a bit longer, so it's 27 inches, which gives me the ability to plane some long grain as well as some cross grain. And this runs up and down the bench. So I find that I can adjust my body wherever I like, instead of having one that runs across there where you tend to be leaning. So this, you can make this quite long if you wish and just simply clamp it in the vise. So the, the, the fence is adjustable. So I've made it so that if it, if it wears or if it um, goes out of true, you can easily adjust it. I've also lined this here with this very low friction tape, which helps keeping things nice and smooth. You can hear that. So with the minimum of effort. And something else which is quite important is that I've incorporated a little dust groove there. So I've chamfered the underside of the fence and I've installed a dust groove down here so that there's any, any bits of shaving and fluff and things don't impede the plane as you're planing, which is quite nice. It's actually made of um, um, good quality ply, three quarter inch ply, three quarter inch underneath, three quarter inch base. And I've got an ebony fence here and an ebony fence here. So it's going to wear really, really well. So that's the shooting board. So another very useful shooting board that I've made for my plane is this some um, 45 degree mitered board. So it's excellent for shooting the, the, the linings of, the, um, of my boxes and you can really creep up on a perfect fit shaving by shaving. So you just move that across till it touches the front of the sole. And you can work really accurately right down to your line for a perfect fit. Now, if you've got um, an angled box like this, where the linings are um, shot in at a 10 degree angle to match the angle of the dovetails, then that's simply achieved by taking a 10 degree wedge, offering this up, again, bring it forward to the front of the plane, 
And in the same way, you can shoot your mitres to fit the inside of the angled box. So an excellent little addition which adds to the flexibility of this plane. And in Bob Waring's um, um, superb little book on page 78, it gives you all the plans to make your own. Well worth doing. So whether you can justify owning one of these fine Veritas shooting board planes very much depends on your budget and the type of work that you do. For me it's proved invaluable and I really wouldn't want to be without it in my workshop.